Hello everyone, this is Butch in the W4DXZ Signal Shack. Last time we looked at a Schmidt Trigger Oscillator. So this time we're going to use that same Schmidt Trigger for debouncing a switch. It's virtually impossible to obtain a clean voltage transition from a mechanical switch because of the phenomenon of contact bounce. Where the action of moving the switch from contact position uh, open to close several output transitions of the switch bounces. It makes and breaks contact uh, with contact several times before coming to a rest at the closed position. This multiple transitions on the output generally last no longer than a few milliseconds, but they would be unacceptable in many applications. So we're going to use the 74LS14 Schmidt trigger to uh, get a much more sharper transition, a much shorter transition in the nanosecond range uh, for this uh, circuit. Okay, so I have the set circuit set up uh, with just the switch, uh, one side coming into 5 volts and then the other side just connected to the oscope. So let's look what, see what it looks like um, without using a Schmidt trigger. And I'm going to use the a single sweep of the uh, scope so we can uh, take a look at the uh, transition time between high and low. Okay, so we'll uh, spread this out a bit. And we'll use our cursors. I'll put the cursors in manual, manual, cursor A, and we want to use, we're using time for the type. So let's see, the transition I guess started there, and switch to cursor B, and it looks like it pretty much settled out about right here. So we have about... Let's see, 208 microseconds is our transition time. Okay, here's the uh, Schmidt trigger circuit we'll be using to, to debounce this switch. We're using the uh, same 74LS14 as we used in the Schmidt oscillator circuit. And... It has a suitable time, time constant to provide the necessary hysteresis. So RC is uh, uh, 470K times uh, 0.1 microfarad, so 47 uh, milliseconds, as you can see here. Um, also, in addition, resistor R1 provides filtering, which prevents a false output when the switch is released. Also note that resistor R1 should be selected to provide adequate current through the switch for reliable operation as well. Alright, so let's take a look at this on the scope and see what kind of improvement we got. Okay, I have it set up uh, at once again for a single uh, mode in the uh, capture. So let's see where we're at here. It's about well, it's about where I have it's about 106 uh, nanoseconds. Let's try it again. Still pretty close to 106. Move that over a little. Not much. 102. About the same. 102 nanoseconds. Um, so that's using a, you can see that the uh, switch uh, has been debounced and we have reduced it to about 102 nanoseconds on this. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Bye.